Before I go on to today's video, I'd love to ask you for a quick favor. Would you be willing to give me your honest feedback about these videos and how they're going for you? Now, maybe it's your first time watching it, and I'd love your feedback as a first time watcher, or maybe you've been watching many of these, and I love your feedback as an experienced viewer. Um, if you'd be willing to take three minutes and go to www.georgecow.com slash feedback, georgecow.com slash feedback, and you can share your uh, feedback with me either anonymously or you can put your name down. Either way is fine. Uh, whatever allows you to share your feedback honestly with me is what I'd most appreciate. Thanks a lot. Okay, so in today's video, I'd love to, to explore the question of whether it's possible to spoil your, your audience with free content. I used to believe this and I used to teach people not to spoil their audience with lots of free content because I used to sell content for a living. And so I would only give for free the teasers and sell the real stuff, okay? And I had a spiritual uh, breakthrough a couple years ago where I decided to prioritize generosity and legacy in my life. And from then on, I decided to give away all my content for free. Um, and so and I'll tell you one interesting benefit is that once I started giving away all my best content, all my content away for free, I started experiencing a, uh, a renaissance of creativity in my life and fulfillment. And I also started to rapidly grow my knowledge and skills much more than when I was blocking myself by only giving away the, the, the free uh, the teasers for free I was I, I now realize I was blocking my creativity but so there are definite benefits personally to you as a content creator by giving away a lot of free content but the question is can you spoil your audience and my answer to that is you definitely can spoil your audience and some people will decide to go away after they've consumed some of your free content because they've had enough okay uh, so other people might feel overwhelmed uh, by your free content, but you know some people feel overwhelmed by how much I give, and so they decide not to engage for a while. But I've also noticed that even though they decide not to engage for a while, they always or some of them uh, come back sometime later when they see a friend like my posting or share my content. Um, and so my main point here is you're going to lose audience members no matter what you do. If you give only teaser content for free, and, and um, you're going to lose some people who think you're not generous and uh, that you are just a marketer. And I lost lots of people in the past when I used to um, uh, only give teaser content, you know, and they feel like, wow, George is just uh, trying to sell me into something. And I agree, I was. Now that I, again, I give everything away for free, I do lose some people because of overwhelm or um, they, they figure, well, I can always come back to George and... Um, uh, he'll always have some free stuff. And I agree, and that, that's fine too. But, but very importantly, your ideal clients are actually looking for you and looking for a service provider like you. And so when you create lots of free content, you are giving more inroads to finding you. You are making it easier for your ideal clients to find you online. So I prefer that better now. I prefer not have to try to work so hard to pursue joint venture <laughs> partners who have to reciprocate with them to promote their thing to my audience as well I worked really hard doing that for a few years and it's just it, it's, it was exhausting it wasn't very authentic to me so I, I prefer now to give away free content so that people can find me more easily online and ideal clients can find me and when they are ready they will come and work with me and same with you when your ideal clients are ready they will work with you so I hope this has been helpful I always welcome your comments and questions and until the next video, I wish you well.